Hey everybody, welcome to FIFA 16. I am Ranroth and we're jumping straight in. We started the new career mode with Yeovil Town. It was a tie on the survey vote, so I took to Facebook to ask my friends what they thought. No reason required. I just posted the two teams that were tied, which was Yeovil Town and Barnet, and Yeovil won pretty convincingly there, so that's what we're going to start with. First thing that pops up once you get started is the preseason tournament invites. Now, of course, I want to get into this and figure out what's going on because you get to play around with your team and also have a chance to win money. So we're going to go forward. Here are our options. Well, just a quick look at these, and I think it's a no-brainer. The one on the left, the European International Cup, has the smallest difficulty and the highest prize money. So we're not going to spend too much time thinking about it. Let's take that one. So it's held in Denmark with nearly a million pounds on the line. Just over a million. So pick that one. All right, so here we are in the hub. And we've got our preseason friendlies lined up. You can see the first one up there. It looks like we're playing Hobro. Man, that's a killer team name. Uh, but the first thing I want to do before starting any matches or any of that, we're just going to look at the squad. And to do that, I am going to look in the transfer section. All right, so by transfer section, I meant the sell players list. Why? Because it's the easiest to list out players by position and see lots of them. So first thing we're going to look at are goalkeepers. We have two. Uh, Arthur Krizjak is the younger of the two. Chris Wheel is the other option. Uh, he's a bit old, 33. He's probably going to decline. So I've got two decent starting keepers. None, Neither are amazing, but they're both the same as each other. But I think I'll want to bring in a youth option to start training him up for the future. Maybe look into the free agents for that. So now we have our center backs are next on the list. We've got some really good options. This guy, Stephen Arthur Worry. He is one of our highest rated players. Unfortunately, he's on loan from Millwall, I think it is. It's not going to tell us here. He's a very strong, big kind of guy, and I think he's going to be important this season. We have Alex Lacey, uh, who I thought was on loan initially, but no, he's from Luton Town. He started in Toffs season last year. Uh, Jakob Sokolik is another um, long-standing Yoho Town player. If you have a really good memory, he was sent off in one of our matches as Newport County last season. And then it's still going to be another good young option. So it's four center backs. We have all of them under the age of 22. So the one thing I did notice about Yeovil is that they have a lot of good youth options, which is a, a thing I really love about a team. We have two options at left back. They're both very talented for the league, 65 and 63 rated. The downside to these two is that they're both kind of old, 28. We'll get a few good, good years out of them, but you know we'll have to start thinking about replacements soon. The right backs, Roberts is on loan, and I don't know from where, and I don't know why. He's young, but he's not that good, so it's not like he came from a bigger team to help boost his talents while playing in a lower league to get experience. Because we do have Ben Tozer, that is going to be our main right back, it looks like. And if I want to pop into his bio, he has a giant throw-in that I saw earlier. He is going to set some stuff up. And I think could be an important player for us. And we can scroll into our center mids. We only have the four of them. Wakefield, again, another player that's in on loan, and I don't know why. Uh, he's the lowest rated midfielder, but he is young. He might develop well, and he likes to play a more attacking role. Dolan is our youngest center mid besides Wakefield on loan. Gillette and Laird are both decent options. And... I think we might want to get some more center mids to beef up our options there. On the wings, oh wow, holy moly, that's a lot of right midfielders. Um, Luke Howells is on loan from Luton Town, uh, another young-ish player with not that many skills. Uh, I don't think we'll see too much of him, especially since he's on a short loan. Compton will probably be our starting left midfielder. But look at these right midfield options. Allen, I think we might have to get rid of because he's just surplus to requirements. And then Cornick will go off when his loan expires. He's also not that talented. 
We have Dawson, Fogden, and Gibbons all available. Dawson and Fogden are obviously going to be the first two choices because they are both at 64 and a bit of experience at 25 and 27 years. Gibbons will be our youth guy on the right wing, and I think he'll be less likely to feature. Into the strikers, we have four options, I think. Yep, just the four. We have Mark Beck, who I looked at earlier. He is massive. 6'5", and where's his 80 strength? He is just a tower of massive strength. He is great in the air. Where's his heading ability? 66 isn't bad for this league. Decent shot power. And let's see, what about Bird? What is he? Also a big 6'4", power header trait. Another center striker, target man. Uh, Sean Jeffers I'm familiar with uh, from two years ago. He played at Newport County. Uh, he's got some pace about him and some skills. He's more of a playing off the, the target man type player. So I might use him for that. I'm trying to figure out which formation I want to use. I'm not sure yet, but one of the ones that worked well for me in the demo was the 4-4-1-1 with the target striker and then the uh, center forward playing just off him. So we've got Beck and Bird, which are good options for the target man. And let's see what Burroughs can do. Yeah, he's another pacey type option. Not too skilled, unfortunately, yet. But probably a good bench player to come off for that behind the striker role. We could also find our center attacking mid player that could do that. Wakefield might play there a couple times. But if we want to do that 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, more center midfielders will be required. Although by default, I think um, So One Me is also playing as a striker in Yeovil's default 4-4-2. So lots to think about. What kind of players do we need to get? I'm thinking another youth goalkeeper. We've got two good options for the moment in Krzyzak and Wheel. Uh, we've got good center back options, even though Arthur Worry will is only with us for this one year. We could probably use another left back in probably a youth role since Dixon and Smith are both getting up there in age. Uh, Roberts will leave us soon on loan and Tozer will be on our only right back option so we'll need to uh, get some backup for him. And then some more center midfielders because I like having plenty of midfield options uh, as Wakefield will also be leaving after his short loan. The wingers we can thin out a bit especially on the right. Cornick will go. Howells, I'll look through the right winger, see if any of them can play on the left. That would probably be a good option to do because we've got seven wingers. Two of them will be gone. I think five is a good number of wingers to have, although maybe we'll see if we can get one of these guys to play on the left more than the right. Four strikers is good. Maybe one more. We've got two target men, two off-the-shoulder attackers, so maybe one that can be both depending on the kind of match we need one of those uh finishers is i think what we'll aim for i'm gonna try and cut down on time for these videos so i'm gonna cut this one off here thank you for watching leave your comments on fifa 16 so far in the comments yeah and um, on the team that we got to work with what positions do you think we should be strengthening any other players that we should be removing and the next video will go into some of the other features. I think the training is what I'm going to do next. So look for a short video on the new training system that they've added for FIFA 16. I've been Ranroth. Thank you. See you later.